Hello, beautiful beings. I just feel incredibly frustrated right now, so I'm making a video. I don't, I'm not sure if I'm going to post it or not, but I always feel better after I've held a song with you. And so, ancients, please guide my words. Oh, yeah, Mother's Day. Any national holiday, the energy is just very, very heavy. I really can't describe it any better than that. It's just very heavy. I felt very lighthearted and happy most of the day, and then the dark cloud kind of moved in. And then I noticed that I was thinking, I was starting to think very negatively. But I did notice it. And so when I got home, I meditated for only about 10 minutes, but it did help a lot. But I'm still feeling, well, Mother's Day is definitely one of those holidays where there are a lot of sad people. Happy too, but a lot of sad people. And that feels like the collective energy right now. The main thing I really want to talk about right now, and it's frustrating to even talk about it again because you know, more often than not these days, I feel very detached, very, very, well, very detached, a healthy, healthy detachment from the person that I've uh, perceived to be my twin for about seven and a half years now. Now I am saying perceived, even though I still feel like he is, because, you know, I let go of those, I let go of those clients the other day because their mother-in-law, their ghost mother-in-law spirit, she, she actually did go to the light, but she likes to hang out at their house. The difference between a spirit and a ghost is a ghost has unresolved issues, issues, that's how this person that I have always perceived to be my twin, that's how he feels to me. He feels more like a ghost to me. Um, he's always in my energy field. And it has been really frustrating. Okay, I'm going to back up. So the difference between the ghosty that's with me. Ancients, is there a name that I can call him besides his name? So I can not refer to him as the ghosty. I feel like that's kind of feeding it in a way. So the difference between him and the clients that I just let go of, their mother-in-law that was bothering me off and on for a couple weeks, all I had to do was give them a message from her and she has left me alone now. But this one, this guy, he is, I don't feel like he has gotten one good night's sleep since we parted. Probably before that, but for at least the last six years, he hasn't slept well at all because I'm a, I'm always with him too. I, I'm a constant, I'm constantly on his mind every single day. And um, I go long periods of time now, at least hours without thinking about him, which is a huge, huge improvement from how it used to be. Um... I'm resisting it today because because it just feels so frustrating. Um, I've just had thoughts of, you know, riding on his motorcycle with him. I never did, though. I never did do that. You know, I've just, just over the years, I've just seen us doing things together, laughing our asses off because we used to just laugh and laugh every single day we were together. Every day we worked together, we laughed so much and when there were things to talk about, our, our conversations were effortless. The communication was, was just absolutely amazing. So I have a little bit of longing going on today and it really makes me mad <laughs> uh, to feel that way because it hurts. Um, and I, I don't mind being on my own. I have a really beautiful life and I'm accomplishing a lot and you know, someday I'll get my own land and build a cabin. Or if there's a cabin already on it, that'd be good too. If there's any spirit there, I can clear them out. <laughs> um, but sometimes, sometimes I really, really do wish I had a partner. Um, because I think about our friendship that we had and how life-giving it felt. And... How, just how, I don't know, it was just a happiness that I had never experienced before. And I'm really missing that today. And I guess that's okay, you know? 
but um Moonstar, she sent me something. She didn't even know that I was suffering because of it today. And she sent me something on Facebook Messenger. This man saying that something about when a woman uh, something like if a man if he's not reaching out and trying to heal things then the woman is going through more, you know, a grief. I'm sorry. Ancients, please, please do this for me. Like, I'm going through another shed right now. And I am grieving this connection. And every time I go through one of these, I let go more, which is really beautiful. But after a while... I, I hope I hope it's this way for this connection that after a while I won't feel anything anymore. That does scare me. That's ridiculous because <laughs> I just really want to be free. <laughs> I really, really want to be free from it because um, it's not life-giving at all. It just takes from me and him being in my energy field and having thoughts about him and dreams about him. Um, and I'm only dreaming about him now because I quit smoking marijuana. And uh, one of the reasons that I was smoking is because um, I wasn't remembering my dreams. <sighs> and the last time I quit smoking, I was just having nightmares every single night. I only quit for three weeks last time. Because I couldn't, I, I was literally, I was running from bad people in my dreams every single night. I woke up exhausted. Hi, Doozer. I'm crying, so Doozer, come here, buddy. And, um, and I, I had dreamt about him also. And I didn't, I didn't want to do that because, you know, some of them are really good. Oh. <laughs> Look at Doozer. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. You're so sweet. <laughs> You're a good boy. He's such a good boy. So. So many seasons have went by. The weather is so beautiful here in Montana. There's so many motorcycles out. And it was one of my deepest desires is to ride on his motorcycle with him. <sighs> you know, there's plenty of other people that, that I can go ride with. Uh, I haven't had any offers and I haven't met anybody <laughs> that I can ride with, but I'm hopeful. I really am. You know, I know that I'm divinely protected also. And, and I know that, you know, rejection is, is definitely the divine's protection in my life. Today, it just doesn't feel like that. My roommate's just getting home, so. Uh, <laughs> I'm a move. Juicer. Oh. See, there's that. Here. Oh, it's just piercing my head. <laughs> but at least I know what it is now. Misophonia. When my dog barks, I, I don't even really feel rage anymore. I just, it just hurts. And so that's all I acknowledge really is, is that it just hurts physically. He has a very high-pitched bark, too. I do feel lighter. Thank you for listening. <laughs> I'm going to go eat. I, I definitely lost... Well, I told you that, but um, I am, I'm gaining. I felt even better this morning. Um, I, I have, I'm not picking my nose. I was twisting my nose stud. <laughs> um... Yeah, maybe I'll take Doozer for a walk, too. It's absolutely gorgeous here. So I'll song with Mama G at gmail.com if, uh... I keep saying calm. <laughs> oh, I do. I, I feel a lot better. It, it just helps so much to just get it out, what's in there. And, um, yeah, clear clear the clutter. Yeah, uh, so I'll song with Mama G at gmail.com. If you feel sad about something today, too, uh, we would love to talk to you about that. <laughs> love you so much.